Hello everybody, welcome to today's class. My name is Anka Brown and the first thing we are going to do today is how to attach the sleeve. This is my sleeve, I already cut it. I assume we all know how to cut sleeve. But I have not joined it yet. Remember we have joined the gown, so let me show you how to do it. Now I'll take it over to my sewing machine. If your sleeve roundness is 10, divide into 2, 5. So now I'm working with five, so I will just place here my five is and run it close. That's to hold my sleeve together. Now whatever your sleeve is, for you to get that, this is a short sleeve. Oh. It's a normal sleeve cut, but it's just short. And that is it. I'm just going to turn it inside but before then I will try to notch my middle this is the middle of my sleeve and turn it out so the next thing now is to fix it so you can see it's already joined together as normal sleeve so let's show you how to fix it now these are armhole this joint area here you pick this joint area of this sleeve here and place it together front facing front like this then take it over to the sewing machine carefully please because of our yoke style now all I just need to do is to run the sleeve over the arm oh can you see it so this is it. First thing I'll do, I'll tack down the middle. Then I will just try and try to arrange both sleeve and the arm all together like this. So this I'm going to run it all round here. I finish sewing everything. So these are to fix separately from your cut so just do yours with the back so you can see we're almost through with the sleeve so all you just need to do is sew it round that's all and this is it That is how to fix a sleeve. So I will just remove this one and see how it looks like. Yeah. So you can see now. We'll fix our sleeve on both sides. So that's how to fix a sleeve. So the next thing we are going to do now is fold these edges. I have this straight fabric I cut, it's about an inch or almost an inch. I'm going to use it to fold this my neckline. So with the back, we just cut here to the back. All right. Before we turn the neck. I would like to create that whole design at the back. This is our back, please. Now, this is the neck of the back. I will just try to arrange both together equally. Then, I will use my shock to draw the whole shape. From this edge here, I'm going to take it small, like this. Then, the hole will be at the middle. Then when it's going down, it will be small, just like this. Can you see it? So it's just like this. The edge here, which is the neckline, is tiny, like this. Then from there, you increase it a bit. Then when it's going to the end part, you make it tiny also. So I'm just going to cut it out.
So that is that. So you can see the whole design now on it. What we wear it, that's where you really see it because of the V. Now let's turn the neck. Remember, I got this long strap. You start from the back, you place the front facing front like this. Please try and fold this your edge inside. Very important. Place it like this. They're so round. Just like the way you saw the arm or can you see it? So you just do this carefully because I'm using a net so I want to be very careful to avoid getting done. Please remember this video is of Franca Brown design. So that is that. I'm going to sew it all around okay? then show you how to fold it at the inside. But if you can't use this, you can also use a bias. So it will be easier for you. So you can see it now. I'm running it at one edge. Just like this. Now that hole, you will also run it the same way we are running this neck. So just run yours to the back. So now we'll finish running one side. So what I'm going to do now, I'll fold this edge inside like this. Then fold it again. I'll repeat again. Just fold these edges inside first can see it then you fold it again take it over to the machine just as if it's your bias then you mark gently so it's going to come like this now so this is how to turn the neck doing that carefully to avoid not my V to get on like this just like what you can see now and then I also when I sew I'll stop a little and also try to arrange it again like this then fold inside so that's that to fold the neck and that's how you're also going to sew that hole we created at the back. The same way you are doing this, that's how to do it. So just do yours, we'll be back. Thank you very much. Okay, now we're through with the running of the neck. Remember this um, strap we cut for the flow? I took three pieces out. I want to attach it to my main gown. So that by the time I put my pressing button, even when I remove it, it's not going to show. So I'm using three pieces here. All you just need to do is start at one end. Please, I've not folded the under, so I'm giving space for that. Can you see? So I'll just start and pleat. Now the reason why I'm putting this is because when I add my pressing button to my gown, I don't want it to show. I don't want it to show the pressing button when I give space. So that's why I'm attaching just these three pieces. So all you just need to do is split like your normal flow, like this. I'm going to pleat all this round. Let me see. 
I'm going to pleat all this round according to the knee roundness till it gets closed. So our next class is going to be on how to fix the lace back and the pressing button. Then show you how to stone your cloth. So that is the next class. You can see now. After which we'll be done with this class. And the next thing I'm going to say is how we are going to rock it and the photo of it. Please remember this video is from Franca Brand Design. Next class you will see the outcome of this split I'm making on. Thank you very much. Please, I'm still working on my flow at the under. I'm still working at the flow. I'm going to show you how the flow looks like when I'm done with this one. So thank you very much. We'll be back. So as you can see now, we are still working on our flow. I haven't finished it yet. So I still have some space. But I'm giving some space, like one inch space gap while sewing it. So you can see, I got another V because that one wasn't enough. But I decided to get a colored V to put it at this middle in this kind of design. So in our next class, I'm going to show you when I'm through with it. So you can see it now. Almost through with the front. You can see how it's coming out already. So in our next class, we'll show you when I'm done and how we can attach it to our gun. And then for the gun, I'm going to show you how we can stone it and lace the back. Yeah. Then attach this to it, so that will be the last class. And the next video after the, that one is just how we wore it and how you how it came out and so on and so forth. But if you want yours to be fuller than mine, please use as much as you can. Like this one, I is not enough. That's why I got another V, and it can't be full as that of that picture. That one I use about 25 years. So if you want yours to be very filled, mm, you can use the same 25 when you're making it. So I just like to make it like this because it's a class and I will be the one to rock it. So I don't want it to look too heavy when I wear it so that someone will not say, ah, what is this girl wearing? You know, something like that. So thank you for staying with us. Remember, this is Franco Brown. Thanks for those who pray for my hobby. Thank you so much. God bless you and grant you all your heart desire. Thank you for your love and care. I really appreciate your understanding. Thank you so much. Thanks for staying with us.